Hello, today we are going to give an overview introduction and aptitude past paper discussion for integrated design degree program at our university. Now when it comes to getting into this degree program, it's not just about your advanced level examination set score. You will also need to pass an aptitude exam and that's a crucial step. This exam tests your potential for success in this field, so how can you prepare for it? We will discuss that later in this video. Honors degree of Bachelor of Integrated Design is a four-year degree program by full-time study. When it's come to design, most people think it's something related to make things aesthetically pleasing art. But it refers to much more than how something looks. Actually, design means using creativity to solve problems with innovative ideas. Design is as much as an art as it is a science. For the first one and a half years, all students study common design related theories and projects. From the second year's second semester, students are required to choose a field to specialize. Currently, there are three different fields available for students to choose from fashion and lifestyle, media and communication, product design. Fashion and lifestyle specialization aims to give insights to the significance of fashion design as well as explore a diverse range of styles lifestyle products and their association production methods. Through specialization in this field, students are exposed to the key sub-disciplines of fashion, entrepreneurial design and fashion business, fashion and product development, textile and lifestyle accessory design. Media and communication stream focuses on producing professionals in creative communication design, both in media-related communication as well as in strategic communication. The curriculum is aimed to exposing student designers to the key sub-disciplines of communication designs areas such as theory of communication, print media communication, and packaging brain communication, moving image communication, social communication, and user interface design. The product design field aims to prepare the students to address the current and future challenges of product-related systems and services in the product design industry. So students will learn to identify and solve problems related to product design innovatively and systematically with sensitivity to human ethic, environmental, cultural, and social concerns. Alright, now let's get into the structure of the aptitude exam. This aptitude exam's duration is 3 hours. The exam is conducted in English and all answers must be provided in English. However, for clarification and reference purposes, students are provided with Sinhala and Tamil translation of the questions. All answers for the questions should be written on the paper itself. The paper will have six main questions and each of these main questions will also include smaller sub-questions. Now, to help you better understand what to expect, let's take a look at questions from the 2021 aptitude test. Typically, the first main question is about a specific context and the current issues faced by people. In the 2021 test, the first question was about a Sri Lankan bus interior image. Imagine a typical Sri Lankan bus interior since the image is not clear here. The first sub-question asks you to identify three problems that you can observe in the bus interior image as a traveler. You should identify and briefly explain each problem. The second sub-question requires you to provide a solution for one of the identified problems. You should illustrate your solution with a sketch and provide explanatory notes in the space provided. For example, if you identify a problem such as the lack of proper safe storage places for keeping bags, you should explain it briefly. Like for instance, we are often required to place our bags above our seating area, which can be problematic. Sometimes bags fall and there is risk of theft because we can't constantly monitor our belongings. Now for the second sub-question, you can propose a solution like having a storage boxes located under each seat. This way our belongings can be securely stored and we can access them conveniently. You should provide an explanation for the solution. It's important to note that there is no right or wrong answers here. It's all about how you identify problems within the given context and propose suitable solution for those problems. Now let's move on to the second main question. Typically, the second question focuses on how you identify elements and visuals and how you use them to create compositions. In 2021, they provided with some illustrated elements created by an artist and a list of words. 
your stuff is to select two words from the provided list and for each word you should use three or more of the illustrated elements to create a composition that represents and describes the chosen word. You have the flexibility to adjust these elements by multiplying, scaling, rotating or flipping them as needed. Your, comp uh, your composition should be created within the associated space provided for each word. For example, if you selected the word trust, you might choose the word uh, first element a boost scraping the table along with the third element a paper and the second element a pencil. You can also engrave the fifth element the uh, scrambled papers by multiplying them. This way you can visually convey the idea of person who is dressed and struggling for inspiration without having any clear ideas. Alright, now let's explore the third question. The third questions typically revolve around fashion-related topics such as designing a fashion brand or creating clothing for specific contexts. In the 2021 paper, the questions were concentrated on a fashion brand. For the first sub-question, they've asked to identify the most suitable social media platform for marketing fashion and lifestyle-related products. They've also provided some social media icons. Your task is to select and list three different social media platforms that are perfect for marketing fashion-related products. The second sub-question involves the development of an Instagram page for a fashion design business and startup with a primary product lineup for fashionable masks. They have provided an Instagram layout and you need to complete its appearance. You are also asked to create a logo and a brand name. Additionally, you should fill the designer's bio in the provided space and create six posts for the Instagram page. Now, let's move on to the fourth question. The fourth question mainly focuses on designing something that encourages people and pleases people while delivering a specific message to a particular audience. In the 2021 paper, the first sub-question was asked to design an antidote character sticker for school children to be given as a reward for attending school and taking the antidote that was developed for COVID-19. Your task is to create a sticker within the provided space that child-friendly and creates students and is appealing to them. The design should be something that children like and appreciate having. For the second sub-questions, you are required to write the message that you want to convey to the school child when the sticker is presented to them. This message should relate it to the antidote character you designed earlier. For an example, you can create a new character, a hero that fights against COVID-19 and protect the child from the virus. This character should feature bright and attractive colors to captivate the child's interest. For the second sub-question, you can craft a message like, when the child takes the antidote. The antidote character will go over them where they where will they go so they can play and study without any fear. Okay, now let's delve into the fifth question. The fifth questions typically involve imaginative scenarios. In the 2021 exam, the question revolved around a magic pencil that could transform drawings with dimensions into actual sized 3D objects. You are asked to imagine yourself alone, lost in a jungle with only that magic pencil and a sketchbook. The first sub-question required you to draw an object in the provided space that has dimensions and could help you escape from the jungle. This could be anything from the realm of fantasy as this question is all about harnessing your imagination. For the second sub-question, you need to explain how the object should be used or how it would work to aid your escape from the jungle. Now let's move into the final question. The sixth question typically revolves around a specific problem scenario in Sri Lankan context. You will be tasked with designing an object or solution. In the 2021 paper, you were asked to design a weather protection design to help overcome a situation you were experienced. You were required to draw the idea with specific details focusing on the form and structure considering that it should be the portable and one-time use product. The second sub-question asks you to provide a short description of the weather protection device including details on material selection, construction methods, functionality and more. Since the product was specified to be one-time use, you also had to consider materials as a designer. These were the questions presented in the 2021 aptitude paper and the paper structure was explained based on an analysis of previous papers. Remember success in this exam 
hinges not only on your knowledge but also on your approach to the question and your ability to demonstrate problem solving skill. To wrap things up, we have provided you with insights into the Integrated Design Degree Program at the University of Moratua. If you are interested in this course, we highly recommend beginning your preparation for the aptitude exam now. If you have any questions or need further information, please don't hesitate to reach us out in the comment section. We have included a link to past aptitude papers in the description. Be sure to check them. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe, like and share it with others who may be interested. Thank you for watching and best of luck with your exams.